Hey, what's up, good people? This is Shelby here. Welcome to my channel. Today, I was definitely inspired by the holiday season. I was aiming for something a little bit more simple, but instead, I got this. Um, but I'm really feeling this. Uh, big, blushy, rosy cheeks and all. It is the winter, so we're going to roll with it. If you want to see how I got this look and the products that I used, including the new Dior Undercover Foundation, or at least new to me, then just stay tuned and we'll hop into the video. First and foremost, Merry Christmas. I am shooting this literally on Christmas Day on my way to uh, dinner at one of my besties' houses. And uh, I'm excited because I've got a bunch of new stuff to play with. Um, I won't use it all today, but I love when new makeup inspires me. Um, my light is a little bit different because I'm in a different location today than normal. Um, so we're just gonna we're just gonna roll with the differences and appreciate everything because it's, it's that time of year but it should be happening all year round uh, i'm laughing though because the way the light is hitting my forehead i'm like mm, you need to put some primer on because um your forehead kind of bright first i'm gonna hop in with some of this uh bobby brown um vitamin and rich face base i'm gonna go on with the brow is in dark brown by anastasia beverly hills you know, double ended super awesome amazingness So I brought you in a little bit closer so that we can hop into the eyes. And I'm then going to use a combination of things. I am looking for a fairly simple eye today, but I think I wanna do a pretty bold wing, really great foundation makeup. Um, and we'll see about the lip. Uh, it's still kind of TBD right now. So what I'm gonna go in with is, I'm gonna go in from, with some colors from my Too Paced palette. Too Faced, my Too Faced uh, Razzle Dazzle palette. I've had this, uh, I don't know, I've had this a while. Really love this palette. Um, and then I'm also gonna go in with um, probably with some colors from the Snow Angels palette. And then if I feel super inspired, I might go in with one more um, sneaky one. It's one more sneaky pretty one. So uh, let's go ahead and hop into the palette, into the eyes rather. I'm going to set my brow with the color called uh, Pink Suede from this palette. It's uh, this color right here. Um, and I'm gonna put that all over my lid. It's a very, very subtle color, which is great because this look is gonna be pretty subtle, I think. At least that's my goal. I think I always start out with best intentions and then, you know, sometimes it just goes a little left. And I love this palette because it, it actually, it smells like raspberries, um, which I didn't think was one of my favorite smells. But uh, yeah, I could put my whole face in this palette and um, just be happy. Can you see that? Oh, look at that color. It's so pretty. So pretty. I'm just kind of carrying it out a little bit because it kind of helps with the shape of the... Uh, of the mascara, I learned that actually from Karen, you know, to kind of bring it all the way out and then clean it up after so that it's nice and balanced. Or Karen, or rather, I love Sarahi. Um, Sarahi? Sarahi? I'm not sure. I'm not sure which one it is. Don't tell her I've been saying her name wrong. <laughs> so what I love about this color and about the placement of it, as I'm looking at my monitor over here, is that um, it looks like there's multiple colors here because of what happens when you open your eye and things are in the crease and they get more intense. But it's all just one color. Uh, I am going to go in with a slightly deeper color um, from the Snow Angels palette. And that's, uh, it looks like this. And this is from Dose of Colors. Great colors in there. Um, they're all mattes, and they also have amazing pigment. I'm going to go in and add a little bit more dimension into my crease. So next I'm going to go in with a combination of this color and this color just to give me, give me a little depth. I'm just putting that in my crease. Not too much, just a little bit. I just want to add a little bit of definition so that what's already happening because of the shadow just gets a little bit more bold. I'm going to go in back with the original brush and the same lighter suede color and just kind of go back and forth over this transition here. I just want to uh, blend this out so it's not too intense. 
So like we said, I'm looking for a calmer eye. Okay, well, so much for that calmer eye. Uh, I'm gonna go back in with the um, <clears throat> with the Too Faced palette, and this color is called Razzle. Razzle is this this one? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Can you see? Razzle's this one right here. If Pink Suede was like a boss eyeshadow and slightly pearlized, it would be this color. Just letting you know. Going in with this little bitty brush that came with the Snow Angels palette. I'm just gonna try to use this to put this on my lid because it's a little, it's foily, it's very foily. Mind you, I'm patting this on, I'm using a brush and it's completely dry. This is just the formula of the shadow. I'm going to spray this with the e.l.f. setting spray. And go back over that really briefly. Ooh. Go back in with the uh, small shader brush and the color from the Snow Angels palette. This really pretty um, darker purple and just add that back to the outer corner in the crease without mixing it with the uh, the glitter. Hey, and my plan for a simple eye look has evaporated. Um, <laughs> as you can see, I've got a an, an a impressive amount of fallout, but I'm going to clean off my lashes and soldier on. We're going to get a nice, subtle, I'm going to do a wing line, wing liner, or just an eye. I think I'll just go for an eyeliner. I won't do a wing liner. I'm going to tight line my lashes with this uh, Maybelline Long Lasting Drama Matte in the color black. I mean, what's it called black? Yeah, jet black. That. I like that black. It's really nice. Actually, let me also go ahead and um, go right in the lash line too, not just the tight line. So while my lashes are drying, let's go ahead and go in with some primer. Uh, I added some Farsali uh, 24, 24 karat gold elixir to my skin, so it's feeling a little dry. Uh, probably because I use the makeup wipes to try to clean up some of the glitter. But I'm going to go in with the Milk Makeup Blur Stick. Yeah, I like that blur. I like that blur. Next, I'm going to go in with, let's see, lashes are still drying. So let's go ahead and go in with the foundation. I'm going to be trying out a new one for me. This is the Dior Undercover Foundation in the shade 050. Um, I wanted to try this one out for a little while, and I remembered to go into Sephora this past time and actually get some so that I can try it out. You know how much I love samples. I believe in trying it out before you spin that coin and Dior is not cheap. So <laughs> it is worthwhile to uh, maybe just wait. Go with my Sanaya Kashuk to blend this out. And because it's a new foundation for me, I'm going to do it in sections rather than putting it all over my whole face. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that finish. I still can't get away from the glitter. Mm, I really like the finish. I like the color too, actually. It's a really good color. I was surprised at how well I felt the color matched me. Um, maybe because I have the impression that, you know, so many, so many brands have limited shade ranges. Um, and I'm not sure if this has been expanded or if it was always this wide and I just didn't know about it. It's pretty. Hmm. It's not bad. It's not perfect, but it's not bad. I'll blend it down a little bit. But I really, really like <laughs> I really like the finish. Oh, okay, let me go in and do my lashes before they dry all the way down. And again, these are the spellbound lash from um House of Lashes. So, lashes are on. I love this lash. I think it's gorgeous. Uh, I, think, I think 
think I'm good for coverage on the foundation. Let me give myself one more look. All right, next we're gonna go in with the concealer, and I'm gonna go in with a with the Bobbi Brown Stick Concealer. I'll go in with the color Golden. Yes, Bobbi Brown Stick Foundation. Going with the Shame Formula in Espresso for my contour. Now I'm going a little ham on it on the on the contour. I kind of want a much bolder um, look for this. I'm going to go in with my beauty blender, or my, my Akasha blender rather, and blend out my forehead. Ooh, look at that snatch. Look at that. I'm going to go in with some powder from Huda. And I'm going to go in in the shade Blondie and just press this under my eye. I'm not actually gonna bake with this today. I'm gonna press this. I'm gonna go in with the Dark Deep by MAC, and this is the Mineralized Skin Finish Natural Shade. I'm gonna use that as my bronzer and to set my contour. A little bit of a mineralized skin finish in dark for under my eye. Just to bring some of my life back. I'm gonna go ahead and use Dose of Colors Chasing the Sun Desi Times Katie for my highlight. I'm also going to put that in my inner corner and in my brow bone. Let's use this guy from Ulta. It's a smudger brush. Putting that right in the arch. Dragging it out. And in a little bit. Okay. And then inner corner. I'm going to go back underneath my eye with the pink suede. Now for the blush. I love blush. I don't know if I always loved blush, but now that I have this Narcissist palette, or Narcissist palette, uh, which is Narcissist Wanted 2, this cheek palette, I just love it. Like, look at those colors. Um, but I'm gonna try to go chill today, so let's, let's stick with this guy right there. I know it looks really, really bright, but it's actually, it's not too crazy. I'm gonna use my bronzer brush just so that it's not all over the place. Oh, oh shoot, I hit the wrong one. Oh no, okay. Going with this uh, big brush and try to disperse. Okay, that's just where we're, that's just where we're at, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, it's, it's taken over where the highlighter was. Wow. I mean, it could, I guess it could kind of be a moment. I don't know, I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna set my face and then we'll hop into lips. Um, yeah. Okay, so not exactly the moment that I was going for, but that's okay. I can I can still work with it. Go in with the Ellery Lip Pencil from ColourPop, from her collab. And, and the color is actually called Ellery, which is very apropos. And uh, I'm going to line my lips with this. Then going to top that with this really nice little color from MAC. This is from the, it's called Sugar Coat, and I can't remember which collab this is from, 
but it had Nico Panda, that's what it was. It has this cute little panda on top. I could stand behind that. Again, I'm going to be the most extra person at the dinner. But at least I'm consistent. <laughs> um, I did go in and add the cushion mascara to my bottom lashes. Um, so that's everything that I can talk about for today. Um, Merry Christmas, y'all. Uh, have an amazing Christmas and an amazing New Year. I hope that you enjoyed this, this, uh, this get ready with me, really. It wasn't really a tutorial, although I guess I got close enough for it to be a tutorial. Um, but yeah, this is a, this is a good looking little look. I need to get ready. I'm already running late. Um, I'll add some selfies to the back end of this little video and hopefully y'all have already liked, commented, subscribed. If you haven't, go down to the bottom, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and, uh, join our little happy makeup wearing family. Again, have an awesome, awesome holiday. Ciao for now.